It's a case of who done it. A little murder mystery for your enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> In today's Page Turners, stories that'll keep you wondering until the final chapter. Best-selling author and publisher Summer Prescott joins us, and uh, you've had quite the uh, journey in the publishing and writing world, haven't you? I have. It's been a whirlwind. Are you local? I am. Okay. Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit about indie publishing. Okay. What is it? <laughs> well, <laughs> basically, technology has allowed us to publish books that normally would have had to have gone to a, a big five publisher. Competition is fierce for the big five. You know, you can count the number of names of the big five publishers on your hand. <laughs> huh. So, indie publishers make it possible to have your books put out there and to be seen. We're seeing this in a lot of ways, like podcasting is sort of that for aspiring radio broadcasters, right. and GarageBand is kind of that way for music, uh, and, and this has been sort of that way for, for publishers. How did, how did you go from just starting some freelance writing to running a publishing company? It was a whirlwind. Um, I started freelancing. I had a, an interior decorating business, and I started freelancing just because I like to write. And within six months, I was getting such a demand, I was having to hire ghostwriters for my ghostwriting. Oh, my. And I ran into an indie publisher online, and she asked, would you like to write Cozy Mysteries? And I was like, I've never heard of Cozy Mysteries. <laughs> and I started writing, and my first Cozy Mystery went top ten in two weeks. Wow. And the rest is history. I went full-time at six months. You're going to you, have to explain what a cozy mystery I know. is. I don't know. Okay. I didn't know either. Um, it's actually a mystery that anyone from your 12-year-old daughter to your 99-year-old grandma can read. It has no sex, no blatant violence, uh, no swearing. It's basically a clean, cozy mystery that, you know, someone has to die in. <laughs> See, so there is a death, <laughs> okay. but other than that, it's There is fine. a death, but I will say pets never die. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Are I, any I've of never watched a movie with a horse on the front because yeah. it's never good for the horse. No. Right. Or the or, dog. Or the dog. Yeah, Are any right. of these stories from your uh, interior design days? Did you draw the inspiration? <laughs> uh, some of them, yes. And I'm actually thinking about doing a series based on an interior decoration. Oh, oh that would make well, a lot of let's, sense. Let's yeah. talk about some of your books here. So which one was the one that was your first that, you know, took off? That's Murder Moist. Foul. That Ooh, was it's the got first cupcakes. One. It's got cupcakes. <laughs> it has an entire series um, in three different parts. I've written literally 64 books with this same couple as the featured characters. Wow. Missy and Chaz. Missy and Chaz. Apparently Missy they never funny. die then, right? They're not the ones, no, at least, that's not, not yet. Allowed. Maybe book 65 or whatever. <laughs> no, they would hunt me down. Oh. The readers would find <laughs> All right. me. Yeah, what? no, Summer would die at that point. Yes. Um, but there are three series based on that one couple and 64 books, and I counted just recently, like the end of June, and I was at 111 books that wow. I've written oh, and published. I'm, I'm going to say, uh, this part doesn't feel so cozy to me. <laughs> that is definitely oh, not too. cozy. Yeah. yeah, there's a content warning on oh, the back I of see. that oh, one. Yes. And so is it not cozy? It is not cozy oh, at okay. Okay. all. No, it is an absolute thriller about a serial killer that's female. Um, folks who like the Dexter series would probably love these two books. They're about the same. They're uh, part of a trilogy. So, so I should be, be the book. one cutting the neck here in September. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> With a, and with a sweet clear. smile as you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, The Killing Girl, tell me about this one. Okay, this one. So in the first book, we meet Susanna and Tim. Susanna is the serial killer, and Tim, oddly enough, is a mortician. Oh, um, it's a good partnership. <laughs> well, you would think. Drum up some business with one another. <laughs> well, he starts noticing some trademarks that are coming in on the huh. bodies that he's processing. Uh -huh. And he gets suspicious, which is kind of dangerous for him. Yes. Sure. So, in the second book, things have happened, and Tim, the husband, is on the run, and Susanna is hunting him down. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Tim, do you know any Susannas? <laughs> I, no, I don't. But, well, I did not a long, long time ago. Anyway. Yeah, right, <laughs> okay. no, not about me. Oh, no. How can 
people find your books, maybe check them out? Um, I'm on Amazon. They can get either um, print copies or ebook oh, copies. Fabulous. And, yeah. I know a good audiobook guy, too, if you're looking for <laughs> by the way. Really? All right, we will connect you with uh, all of her books and the link to uh, her website and uh, social media pages at our website, which is ciliving.tv. I'll be your Susanna to your 10. I, I'm not. <laughs> so you're going to tell me once I discover that you're killing all these other Possibly. people? Possibly. I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Still